Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday market webcast. Okay, so let's start with the daily chart. You can see we've made our way back inside the Bollinger Bands. Uh, we've been trading basically on either side of the 200-day uh, moving averages, the exponential and the simple. So it's that chunk of price that we talked about yesterday. So you can see, before I move on from here, you see we were trapped in the channel between the second standard deviation lower Bollinger Band and the third standard deviation lower Bollinger Band for about four sessions. They took it down last night uh, as low as 89 quarter, uh, Sunday night rather, uh, and spent most of the day rallying it up above and you know just put in a really solid day yesterday. It's the kind of bounce day, you can see it started Friday, that um, has been pretty much due for this market. So the overall deal here is how are the bears going to deal with this rally? Are they going to fight back? Are we going to get a lower high? And more importantly, are we going to get a lower low after the lower high? I think a lot of it has to do with news. Um, and a lot of it is going to have to see, have to do with how much confidence have the bears built up in themselves now that they've taken the market down about 500 handles. So hourly chart, you can see you got the nine day up here, 31s. But here's your monthly pivot, which we dealt with yesterday, 79.58 weekly pivot, and remember the 200 day bisecting that. So we talked about that area of price and we went ahead and not only did we test it yesterday, we spent the good portion of the night trading in between it with a couple of looks at 3100 that they weren't able to get over up and over the top of. Sorry, not sure what button I clicked there. Um, you see the lower band down at 29.75. Um, you see the hourly mid band also engaged uh, right at the area of uh, 68, 69. So there's just a ton going on between 50 and 80. And I know I'm talking about a 30 handle range like it's a three handle range, but that's the kind of chunks that we're trading at in this tape right now. Um, so as we get into the day, you've got hourly mid band, like I said, 69.70, weekly's down at 51, volume weighted average price 76 and change. Our proprietary moving average is at 78 and change. So it's all, you know, it's all concentrated here. And it sounds ludicrous, but I'll say it out loud anyway. If you win this zone, you've got another 100 handles on either side, pretty comfortably. I know that sounds crazy, but it's no different than me saying in a three handle you know, a typical three handle tape, you know, three handle chop zone, you got another 10 handles on the other side. We're basically trading in the mini, we're basically trading in multiples of 10, if you think about it, which is, yes, it's ludicrous, but that's the environment that we're in. So we had a big start yesterday. I mean, basically we put in the monthly goal yesterday. Um, we did a few trades last night. Um, we're up about 13 after last night. We ended up getting short that 72, 73 area after the G7 put out its report this morning. I was looking for a move down the weekly pivot, which you can see we got. We actually, we made matching lows down there at 51 right at the weekly pivot. So the bears are gonna have to overcome that. Um, we opened in about a half an hour. So again, respect price, respect risk, or you're gonna pay for it in this tape. You are absolutely gonna pay for it. If you wanna know what I'm talking about, watch yesterday's video. Um, and then, you know, the Friday video was basically me sitting down with every market participant and basically saying, look, here's where we are. You know, as things started to get a little bit scary. And if you're still really shaken up by this market, watch the last few videos. And, and uh, you know, um, it's just a matter of this is what really loose markets do. Loose markets like this are not for everybody. Um, you can, you know, you have a choice. You don't have to participate. You don't have to participate and get knocked around. Um, what I do suggest you do is get in with a good community of people that can clue you in about, you know, basically how to stay safe. So, and that's what I hope that we've built at Princeton Trader. All right, take care everybody. We'll have more stuff out on social. Trade them well. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.